The BBC has been told of bullying and harassment by anti-vaccination campaigners outside a number of schools in the UK. The Shadow Education Minister, Peter Kyle, says such incidents are ubiquitous in his constituency. He's accusing campaigners of intimidating both children and teachers. There are now calls for schools to go as far as employing fast-track exclusion zones to tackle the problem. A correspondent, Lebel de Secco, has more from East Sussex. Stepping out of school and into the battle over COVID vaccinations. These pupils in Sussex met at home time by protesters and disinformation. Don't take the vaccine! Don't take the vaccine! Don't take For some parents, the tactics these campaigners use are a step too far. Not outside outside idiots, these idiots. Outside, outside of school. school. Move them. I don't agree with their opinion, but they're entitled to it. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with protesting. I have a problem with them doing it right outside the school where the kids are coming out and they might find that a bit, you know, intimidating and all that. That's the only bit I have a problem with. Diana will be serving the notice. Earlier, anti-vaccination campaigners entered the school itself, serving papers threatening legal action. The leader of this campaign group, who believes a range of extreme conspiracy theories, including that most people in power are paedophiles, says he won't stop until the COVID vaccination drive ends. We have spoken to the head teacher of this school, who said he was served papers earlier on today and he really did seem very shaken up. This should be shaken up, it should be shaken up. Teachers have told me and you know there are parents who are saying this is frightening what you're doing. Well if if handing an ed teacher a letter is frightening then then it's frightening. A lawyer told us that such letters and papers have absolutely no legal standing. I believe it to be um, pseudo-legal nonsense. It's self-conflictual uh, it draws up points about law that are misplaced. It's intended to drive a threat towards teachers, uh, head teachers and otherwise, and I think just has no foundation in law whatsoever. Another school served. Just over 400 school leaders told their professional association that they'd been targeted by anti-vaccination campaigners, mainly in the form of emails threatening legal action. Nearly 70 said that they'd had protesters immediately outside their premises. The issue here is not that some people have concerns about vaccinating children. It is the protests at and around schools undertaken by a hardened minority. These pupils in East London challenged campaigners outside their school. We were asking him, like, OK, where did you get these sources from? Like, he was talking about how it's poison. And we was like, OK, where did you get this from? He couldn't tell us, like, a valid place, like, a valid point, like, he got, where he got it from. He knew what he wanted to do. He chose a location and he tried to get as much of the leaflets as he had out, like, distribute it everywhere. It didn't really work. Some MPs are now calling for schools to be able to use exclusion zones in order to bring an end to scenes like this at home time. Lebu Di Seco, BBC News.